All right, reversal trading can be very tricky and very hard. And this is what I'm going to show you in this video, how to successfully found a counter trend trade entries and how to find a reversal pattern because a lot of traders get, you know, they get trapped fairly quickly trying to predict a reversal and trying to recognize when the current trend is over and the new trend is starting out. And there are three key factors or three key rules that we need to follow when we are trying to identify that the trend is reversing and we are looking for a reversal pattern because when we are reversal trading we just don't want to blindly pick tops or pick bottoms we actually want for market to prove us to tell us that the trend is reversing successfully and there is no more bears in this particular instance because we're talking about downtrend are left in the market so what we are going to be looking for is reversal pattern so the first rule and the first key factor that we are looking for is that we need to recognize that the current trend is over and that is trend line rules the second key factor is there has to be two failed attempts in the direction of the current trend and the third rule is we're going to be using the ema exponential moving average 21 bar it is 21 bar ema so if you're new to trading just set up the 21 bar ema this is going to be helping us give us additional information about the reversing pattern. So let's start up. The first rule is the trend line rule. And trend line rule is telling us that after a break of a trend line, there is most likely going to be a retest of a new low. So you can see the trend line I found right here. You can see the downtrend. We're making lower highs, lower lows. The EMA is pointing down. The trend line is fitting from the lows and from the highs. So when the trend line is active, we cannot be looking to buy we cannot be looking for counter trend, trend entries by any means we need to stick with the trend because the trend is your friend you know we've all heard this millions of times where we have a first break of this downtrend working lower but that doesn't mean we're going to go long here no the trend line rules is telling us that after a break there is most likely going to be a retest of a new extreme and this is what happened here so after a break of a downtrend of this trend line working lower we have a new extreme we have a new low Okay, so now we can potentially be looking for at least correction or possibly a full-blown reversal. But we just don't want to still keep buying because it is impossible to pick bottoms like this. Anything can happen. It can easily take one tick higher and go back down and, you know, you, we would have gotten stopped out. Nobody can pretty much predict whether to go long here. What we need to wait is for higher probability setup, higher probability reversal pattern. And here comes the second rule two failed attempts in the direction of a trend so when this new low exists what we are looking for is second entry short that is going to fail this is a new low pullback working up higher first entry short this is the first entry by the bears trying to push the market lower and they're trying to see whether there are still sellers left in the market because just because we have a break in a new low there still might be some people looking to sell so this is just a first entry but we want to wait for second entry. Why you want to wait for second entry? Because it's just a human psychological thing. Once we make something, attempt to do something, if it doesn't work once, we will actually attempt to do it again. We will kind of confirm it if it really doesn't work. And after it fails again, we will stop doing it forever. And this basically, you know, translates into trading as well. So we have a first entry short, pullback, second entry short. Now we have a two failed attempts by the bears to retest whether there are any sellers left in the market and they are not the bulls are active so this is the second factor of looking for a reversal pattern and third factor is using the ema what we are looking for with using the ema when it comes to reversal pattern we are looking for prices to go through ema and then ema serving as a stepping point stepping stone for prices to react to so we have a first entry short second entry short we spike through ema and you can see how ema is holding prices nicely and it's not letting the bars to finish and in in addition here we actually have a short term trend line that is supporting our decision so this is a this is basically how reversal pattern looks we are working lower downtrend we have a break and a new low now we can be expecting a potential reversal pattern first entry short we're going through ema second entry short good is EMA holding? Yes, EMA is still holding and we have the trend line. Now, market is telling us that bears have abandoned their decision and bulls are jumping into the market and we want to jump with them. And don't worry, I have prepared a lot more examples for you guys. I have quite a similar 
example right here we have a downtrend working lower you can see how neatly prices are fitting in you can see that ema is pointing up lower big time we are clearly in a downtrend we have a first break of this downtrend but we don't want to take the current trend trend entry yet we don't want to pick blindly pick bottoms you never know if it's going to work or not we have to wait for wait for new extreme and we have break new extreme another leg to a new extreme okay so now we can potentially be looking for a reversal pattern we have a new low right here prices are working up higher first attempt to bears to test whether there are sellers in the market and there and it fails we shot through the ema second attempt by the bears and it failed nice big bullish bar and notice how ema is holding prices and once again the trend line in this case is holding prices and this is opportunity for us to start trading in the opposite direction now if you look at the right side of the chart this is what it would look like the downtrend on the left side first entry short second entry short we go through the ema and ema is holding prices this is a reversal pattern failed second attempts reversal pattern and not every time which i'm going to illustrate you guys not every time the ema we go through the ema so nicely like here this is the best scenario when the ema is putting no resistance whatsoever this is how you can trust the reversal pattern really well but i'm going to show you that a lot of times the ema is putting a little bit of a resistance all right here we have on the chart and bullish uptrend the series of higher highs and higher lows ema is pointing higher the trend line is fitting prices neatly you can see this is a valid bullish uptrend so we are looking only for longs no current trend trendies trade entries for us yet whatsoever we have a first break and a new high okay so with the new high right here the rule of a trend line after a new break there's going to be a new high most likely now we can be expecting a correction at least correction or possibly a reversal so you can see we're working lower working lower we didn't take it higher here first entry long and nothing happened we keep we, we kept going higher and kept going higher so no reversal pattern right here we cannot pick any short none of this is a reversal pattern this is just a first entry and it worked it keeps going higher okay so we have a double bot double top right here we're working higher okay okay we, we we pushed through the ema a little bit good first entry long failed second entry long failed big bearish reversal bar this is good this is a two failed attempts by the bulls to see whether there are still bulls in the market ready to rally up market higher because you can tell that you can see that here the bulls were still active in the market and they were still looking to go long after this double top nobody was willing to go long and you can see first entry long second entry long failed at least for this particular time period so this is two failed attempts after a break and a new extreme and you can see how ema now is putting a little bit of a of a resistance but the important thing is that the, we still managed to go through EMA. It's not like here when EMA is not letting prices to close below. We actually close below every single time. And this is important for us. And quick, easy scalp reversal pattern right here. We have a bullish uptrend working up higher. Once again, series of lower, higher lows and higher highs. Trend line is fitting nicely. You can see first break of this bullish trend line. So what's going to happen? Most likely a retest of a new extreme. Two legs to a new extreme. And now we can be looking for a reversal pattern pull back first entry pull back second entry beautiful slice through the ema basically like hot knife like a knife through a warm butter this ema is putting no resistance whatsoever we go through ema second entry long two felt attempts in the direction of a previous trend two felt attempts ema is rejecting prices trend line is rejecting prices this is all we want to see and only now we can go short only now this is a valid proven reversal pattern that is keep telling us that bears are now in the market and you can see it doesn't apply just for the bigger patterns just not for the major patterns during the day it applies even for the shorter term ones because we have this downtrend working lower we have a break and a new how new low and you can see we made a double bottom right here so we have a break and a new low okay our first rule is met the downtrend is played out first entry short second entry short failed the second rule is played out you can see the ema put a little bit of resistance here and put a little bit of resistance here but the important thing is we are keep making it above the ema we still close big bullish bar and close way above the ema and the trend line is holding at this point so once again first entry long second entry long after a break and a new extreme and here you, you can if you're an experienced price action trader you can tell that we have a double bottom right here which adds even more fuel to the power to the fire right here so 
but this is just to see that not every reversal pattern is clean like this this is what we want to see spike through ema like it's not even there here a little bit of resistance but nevertheless it is a reversal pattern nonetheless and once again we have a trend line working up higher we have a break and a new high so now we can be looking for correction or reversal pullback first entry long pullback second entry long two legs two legs down because market moves in twos it is off the trend line and ema is holding prices first entry long second entry long you can see that our scalp would have gotten we, we, we would have we, we would have gotten trapped here just to see it to go exactly where we thought we were gonna go but the key regarding this lesson is to recognize reversal pattern and this is a reversal pattern first entry long we managed to go through ema second entry long ema is holding trend line is holding we are working lower from this point on and here we have a downtrend series of lower highs lower lows ema is pointing lower trend line once again is fitting we need to pay respect to the current trend we don't want a counter trend trend whatsoever until we have a proven break and new low and even then that's not enough we need to wait for a reversal pattern so we have a break right here and we went into this consolidation into this trading range so we don't want to be looking for a longs we, we should be looking for shorts because we are probably going to go if you trade it down lower you want to be looking for shorts we are probably going to go go lower we are probably going to break in the direction we traded into the range but nevertheless this is the new low because this low is still higher than this low so this is not a new low this is a break and a new low we only managed to make a new low after such a long time that happens new low right here pull back first entry pull back we crawl through up the ema second entry big bullish reversal bar two felt attempts ema is holding we have a break and a new low of current downtrend so current downtrend should be over and the trend line is holding reversal pattern now we can try to pick bottoms we're working up higher we have a break new high we don't want to pick top just like that first entry long pull back pull back we spike through the ema good second entry long here we want to go short and take our scalp first entry long second entry long after this correction has played out so hopefully you guys are steering starting to see the pattern how to look for reversal patterns and that we just don't want to keep looking for counter trend, trend entries just picking tops or, or picking bottoms we have to stick to the rules and we have to pay attention to what the price action is telling us just like here big bullish uptrend don't try to sell this at all just keep looking for lows we have a break we have a little bit even though even though we have a little bit trend down we still don't want to be thinking shorting and why because we don't have a new high you you can tell say that this is a potentially new high but this is so close i i might i might have my tr trend line just a little bit to the side this is so close that a lot of traders probably didn't even took this into consideration that this may be a new high and eventually they needed a bigger proof that a clear new high so even though we have a current downtrend working lower this is just a correction we cannot short this because this bullish uptrend is still in play we have a break new high right here and now we can finally be looking for potential counter trend, trend entry but not any other entry a reversal pattern entry first entry long pull back second entry long two failed attempts to go higher ema is holding prices we went went through ema and the trend line is holding prices you can see we went a little bit shy here you could have waited trend line is holding prices now now is a good place to go short all right i have another example to you for you how you can recognize a reversal pattern we have a bullish uptrend working up higher clear uptrend higher lows higher highs trend line is fitting very nicely you can see that this trend line is valid this is how you can tell the trend line is valid when it fits from the highs as well as from the lows not just from the lows you you need to fit from the highs as well two legs we have a one leg second leg market moves into this is a break first break new high okay now we can be looking for a reversal or potentially for correction or potentially reversal ema is holding resistance boom ema is holding resistance we cannot pick tabs here because ema is still keep telling us that there might be bulls in the market we don't want to go long either because we already already have a break and a new high so in this situation the best thing is just to sit on your hands and wait for reversal pattern because we don't want to go long 
because we have a break and new high and we don't want to go short because we are not going through EMA. New high right here. First time we, we went through EMA. Okay, so now we can start paying a little bit more attention. First entry long, pullback. Second entry long, reversal pattern failed. Uh, the second entry long failed. And we have another example right here. Let me see if I can find the trend line right here. Just copy it, pull it lower. We have this big channel working up higher. You can see this is an uptrend. EMA is pointing higher. We went into a little bit of a little bit of consolidation. We have a fell break lower. We have a fell break lower. First break of this trend channel line working up higher. Break new high right here. So right now we should be expecting correction or possibly a reversal. First entry long, second entry long. But look at this key entry point EMA putting resistance, holding prices, the bullish momentum is still up. So no reversal pattern for, for us. Let this, we need to let the bulls to still, because there's gonna be a lot of bulls that are still trying to attempt to go long and we need to let them do this. The bulls are running up market higher, higher. We made it once again, new high right here. So let's start, let's try again. What we try to do here, let's do it right here once again. First entry long, now we're moving through EMA. This is exactly what we want to see. Not like here. EMA putting resistance here. No current entry, entry here. EMA is going through EMA. Uh, prices are going through EMA here. Good. Failed second entry long. Right here. First entry long. Failed second entry long. Two failed attempts in the previous trend direction. EMA is holding prices. Serving as a stepping stone. Stepping point, stepping stone. And the trend line is holding prices. This is a reversal pattern. We can go safely short now and we can now safely assume that the bears are starting to have more buying power, more selling power because, and you could make a case that picking tops like this, you can, you can make it work and you can be a winner sometimes. But what I'm trying to teach you guys is to find the highest probability setups as possible and to be as consistent as possible because yes you can pick a lot of tops and a lot of bottoms and successfully you know counter and trade them you know successfully but it, it's a in the long term in the long run that's a losing strategy because it takes just few of these trades and you're going to wipe out all of your account because you're probably gonna keep moving your stop back and back further back or just even though even just picking top just doesn't work because you could have went short light right here and look how tempting this was tempting this look you can go short right here boom felt all right i'm gonna go short right here the market is definitely reversing now trapped once again okay i'm gonna go short look at this bull bearish pin bar definitely reversing now boom trapped so you don't want to be trying to counter trend trend you will need to be looking for the reversal pattern when when the bears are actually telling you that they are now ready to sell and their intentions now are valid and I just want to show you guys once more that the finding a reversal pattern that this strategy is not just for the bigger uh, bigger patterns during the day because yes that works the most and this is what we want to find the most to find the bigger ch the bigger trends how they are going to reverse this is the most important for us but it works for short term trend lines as well because we have a trend line working up lower we have a break any new low so now first factor key factor is met we, we spike through ema right here first entry short pullback second entry short felt big bullish reversal bar e trend line is holding ema is holding reversal pattern we're working up higher this bullish trend is now working up higher creeping off the trend line we have a first break of this trend line we are looking probably to make a new high right here and it did happen two legs to a new high now we can be looking for a reversal pullback first entry okay we go through ema pullback second entry ema rejecting prices nicely in our direction trend line is holding reversal pattern now we can go short we have a break new low and a new low right here now we can be this is starting to look like a trading range so now it's obvious that we're swinging up and down up and down i just want to say that when if it's looking like a trading range Picking tops and picking bottoms is a valid strategy.
but only in trading ranges. But that's not the point of this video. I just want to show you guys to focus on reversal patterns. We have a break, new low of this downtrend working up lower. We have a new low first entry. EMA is putting a little bit of resistance, but look at this bullish reversal bar. Okay, we actually went up higher. Second entry, big bullish reversal bar, lot of stim at the end. This is what we want to see. And the EMA is holding prices. We closed above it. Trend line is holding prices. Failed two attempts in the previous trends direction. Reversal pattern. This is what we want to see. We don't want to go long here. We want to go long here after the proven reversal pattern. This is what we want to see. So if you've got any comments about a reversal pattern, just put them in the comment section and I will get to them hopefully. And don't forget to like the video if you actually enjoyed it and you think this was insightful to you. And if you are interested in learning price action, you feel free to subscribe to the channel. I see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.